Hey man, today we are watching the final episode of The Promised Neverland, and I can already see it has three stars. So that must mean it is not good. And I was hearing stuff about it, so let's just hop into it. What a great opening for a show that's gone downhill. Crazy. This opening is really good, though. This is a slapper. I'm, I'm just always trying to make friends, man. <clears throat> Literally, you could be, like, the worst person. And Emma is the definition of the power of friendship. Literally. She literally is just like, oh, wait a second. You oppressed my whole race? Let's be friends. Be friends with me. Obviously, it's a great trait to have. But I mean, we're getting all this information in the last episode. I don't know why we're getting a flashback for the last episode, though. How are you going to kill your brother and be so sad about it? You could have, like, talked it out or something. You know what I mean? That's just kind of stupid. I think, at least. Maybe I'm tripping, but... I just realized that he was William Minerva. And, like, that was, like... Like... He was hyped up, and then that was it. That was like him. It was like, oh, that's William Minerva. That's kind of ass. It's whatever. He was just introduced, like, last episode. Not actually, but, like, two episodes ago, he was supposed to be the gatekeeper. And that's it. Everything feels so rushed right now, dog. I'm really not even trying to hate, but it's just like... You know what I mean? When they were talking about Gatekeeper, I was like, what? You know, like, they made it seem like some impossible dude to beat. And he literally, they pulled up and gave him talk no jutsu, and there he goes. And we're just getting introduced to these people. Right? I don't think we've ever seen them before. I saw people saying they weren't going to have another season, but if, if they're introducing all these new things, they have to be. I think. I hope. Tell him, Ray. I don't know why that kid looks like that. He looks like a, um, a me from the Wii's. That's literally what he looks like. It's his eyes, that's why. I'm not even trying to make fun of him. Like, that's just... <laughs> That's nice. That's a nice, that's a nice moment. That's a nice little sad moment. That's nice. <laughs> Isabella's always been a good character, I think. I've always liked her character. And she, they really made, like, me think that she was going to try and go after them again. So is this like an actual portal or something like what? She hasn't been touched in forever. So this dude, William Minerva, must have been like an animal because he's literally everything. Like his logo's on everything. It's ridiculous. It was all a lie. Human world doesn't exist. This is actually prison. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. This is lit every time. She always has something to say. She's gonna be like, oh, I need to save everyone. I see if everyone on this side before I go to the human world. Watch. She just gotta chill out. Just chill out, man. See, I, I knew it. Oh, well, that's a little different from what I was saying, but. 
I guess it's a cool thing though, like, oh, to make another promise since they already made a promise. Hence, the promise Neverland, you know, full circle, that's just how it is. So is Sonju gonna eat them or not? I could have sworn he was like, I'm trying to eat them. Unless he drank her blood too. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, well, if they're staying, then they have to have another season. They're gonna need, like, a whole new cast of characters, though, or something. I still don't know where they are. Like, where are they? <laughs> What is this place? This is not the human world. That's what Martin Luther King would have wanted, man. That's what we like to see. That's beautiful. Is Phil gonna become like a main character or something? Because they're putting a lot of focus on him. Obviously, since he's a smart little kid. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, I thought Don and Gilda were going with them. Well, at least they're going to keep animating it. Because I thought they were just going to end it off, you know? Like, with them leaving. Or doing something. I don't know. Where'd they even come from? Where'd they even... They came out of the ocean? <laughs> I'm hitting that. Who's that? Who are they? I really hope that- I really hope that they did not just do what I think they did, dude. I'm begging. I'm actually begging on my knees at this point. So you're telling me, right, they go to the human world, and then you show us a PowerPoint presentation of basically a whole season's worth of content. Emma literally looked like she meant like God. Yo. <laughs> that's, that's upsetting. That's really upsetting, dude. That's, I'm like, I literally am at a loss for words. This must be an April Fool's joke or something. When's April Fool's? It's in a week. So they might have done it a little bit earlier. So, but no, I'm like really, wow. That was a whole season's worth of content in that PowerPoint presentation. That really was. That really was. I genuinely cannot believe that they did that. I mean, it's like, I understand right it's at it's like at what at like what do you care about more do you care about the people and like how they feel about the show or do you care about the money right because in actuality if they did continue the show it was probably a waste of money on their end because the manga is finished you know so i mean at that point it's just like what do you care about more and it clearly was the money you know because this show after that is not getting another season I, I really thought it was, I was, I was like, okay, you know what, this season was, like, pretty bad and rushed, but, like, the way they were ending it, I was like, okay, it'll, it'll probably get another season, where they, like, take over the whole place, we couldn't even see that, we saw about 
10 images of that. And that's all we'll ever get. You know what I'm saying? I was basically just reading colored manga for the last 20 seconds without the words. Like, I just... The show went from a 10 out of 10 to like a 6 and a half. I'm being generous with the half, honestly. That is ridiculous, man. That's very upsetting. I remember watching this, and first season, it was cliffhanger, cliffhanger, cliffhanger. Every episode, it was such a great experience. And honestly, this season, like, while it was getting so much hate, it really, honestly, wasn't even that bad, other than the fact that, yes, everything was rushed. But, like, say if Goldie Pond didn't even happen, because I started reading the manga a little bit, because I was like, okay, I might as well read it, right? Say if they genuinely took a different path in the anime, and then, like decide to t do another season or two with like a different story like okay that would have been fine right add some more stuff on take some stuff out whatever but after that shit we are definitely never getting another season of the show phil was damn near like 16 or whatever like he, how long was that that was the whole time skip right there they could have they could have literally they could have literally started a new season right and showed like kind of a fast forwarded thing to where they were older and they were finishing up this journey that we just were shown in this PowerPoint presentation to where she's like meeting like the fact that's like that one image specifically pisses me off because that seems like it has so much significance when she's in like this different dimension with this demon that's literally floating with a big ass dragon behind it like it's just and then the queen that we were just introduced to this episode, who is now dethroned within 30 seconds in a PowerPoint presentation. I have to keep talking about this PowerPoint presentation. I really, and I really don't like hating on things too. Like, I really just like talking about it and having, but like that was just, come on, man. I, come on. It's understandable though, again, money. Money is a big factor in everything, especially when it comes to anime. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... It would be a waste of money for them. I'm guessing. That's my guess. It would just be a waste of money on their part to produce another season. Even though they, another, a lot of people would watch it and a lot of people would like it, it's just not helping them financially. So, I mean, it just makes sense, but it's very unfortunate. I mean, let's let's watch to the end, see what happens. If we get some sort of, like trailer thing or something i don't know like if we get something at the end maybe yeah no that's it dog that's it yeah that's it that's upsetting that really is it's really upsetting but i mean what honestly what can you do there's nothing that you could do about that there's really nothing that you could do about that man there is nothing that you could do about that it's upsetting okay but I mean, that was the end of Promise Neverland final season. Promise Neverland final season. Which is synonyms with season two. Same thing. Because that's the last that we're going to see of it. It was a fun ride, season one. And then season two, it was ups and downs. It, this was very volatile season. And it ended on the downward trend. I'm not going to lie. And I don't think it's going to the moon. <laughs> that's, that's it. I think it's, I think it's done. I think it's going down, and I don't think it's coming back up. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, yeah, that's it, man. That's really all I got to say.